How we doing everyone? In today's video, I set out on this weekly server to build a pretty awesome solo compound base. And this base is kinda chunky, needing around 50,000 stone to complete. So I wasted no time heading to my potential build location in the snow to get some sleeping bags down and start the grind. This is honestly one of my favorite bases I've built so far in Rust as a solo. So make sure you stick around. Also, you'll probably notice that I was pretty sick when I recorded this wipe, so there might be a bit more voiceover during this video, but I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. No, mate. Oh, I get that, mate. Uh, well, off on another solo adventure today. Looking forward to it, even though I'm pretty much losing my voice. So there might be a little bit more voiceover in this video today, purely for the fact that can't really speak, but we're still going to have a good time. <coughs> I wonder if that's been taken. Let's go check it out. Oh god. Man, I'll just slap a weapon out of one of these. Oh, hello. Hell yeah, dude. Jesus, man, they're already kidded. It's like six hours into wipe. I was going to get up at, like, at the crack of wipe, but my body told me otherwise. Yeah, damn. I thought that would have been taken. Mmm, that would have been good. Alright, we'll check across the water. It'd be so sweet if no one built out here. That'd make me a happy boy. I need, like, a relatively flat area for this base that I'm building today. I'm so excited. Like, I'm actually so excited to build it. It's actually a base that I just kind of designed myself using a few, like, interesting bunker techniques. And I think it's, like, I think it's pretty sweet. But we'll have to see how it holds up in, a, in an actual server. Yeah, this be huge. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, oh, there's a base there. I feel like we're gonna take that over. It's just a TC, hey. Hmm, there must be a big group around that doesn't want anyone building here. I mean, this area is pretty massive, though. I could just build here. Yeah, fuck it. Should we just do that and then we'll try and progress fast enough that I can get rid of it before they upgrade it. So we're going to stash a few things. And yeah, let's get to uh, let's get to farming. Although a group had put a TC down on this ice lake, likely to deter other players from building here, there was enough space for me to put down my compound. So I got to farming with a plan to eventually get rid of the TC that was currently only upgraded to wood.
that's going to be a juicy base down there, that's for sure. Man, there's like no metal. Like, I feel like probably that group is farming all the metal. Okay, that's a pretty good hole, to be honest. It's all the metal I need to get started. Oh, yep, that's pretty cold. <laughs> so close to a furnace. We need two cloth. Or one cloth. Okay, priority is... Priority has to be an animal so we can get a furnace going. And then we gotta start getting some sulfur so I can get rid of that TC. Well, they stone it up. I think as soon as they see that I'm building here, they'll they'll stone it up. Come on, man, where are the animals at? Is that a care package? Oh shit, that's a care package. Oh my god, what do you mean? Dude, I have 25 health. Fuck. The server's full pop. How is there a care package just sitting there? Holy shit, dude. Why does a coffee can helmet look weird? 54. Buckshot. Holy. I swear that happens to me all the time. I just find like random care packages. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Ah, so good. Okay. Uh, I think what we're going to do is just go kill one of those scientists and then farm him. The cloth. So yeah, once we get rid of that, it's going to be a lot of farming. It's going to be a bit of a grind today, but it's going to be worth it to get this base down. And then tomorrow we can look at uh, a bit more action. Some PvP. A bit of the PvP. at the moment where your weapon doesn't equip is so bad. for now until I get a ladder. I'm gonna go check this out. Obviously someone's like killing the scientists. But with that much shooting they must be low. Fuck that's loud. Oh, 
back. Shit. Oh my god, they got so much. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh man. <laughs> oh man, they got so much. I'm just gonna dump and go back. I'm just gonna dump and go back. That's insane. Holy shit, dude. I cannot believe how much loot those dudes had. It has satchel too. Fuck yeah, dude. Why are they roaming with so much? It's actually crazy. Well, time to expand. <laughs> These guys were so loaded that I didn't have the space to store the loot. So I spent some time sorting out some storage and farming to fortify my base, just in case they were part of a larger group. The extra scrap I'd scored also allowed me to get a tier one workbench down so I could craft a ladder for the jump up to exit my base. That feels good. Oh, all this excitement, all this excitement. I need a coffee. <laughs> I need a quick coffee. Okay, we got to get our farm on. I need some, I haven't cooked up any sulfur yet, but we could run the custom. Uh, wipe day. So good. I freaking love wipe day. Oh, they, those bases have like decayed or something. Interesting. I should really get rid of that TC. Just because, like, it will probably kind of overlap into my compound. If they decide to come back. Essentially, the foundation of this base is just the mirrored version of what I built there. So it kind of like wraps around in another two by one. So if I can get that main footprint down today, uh, that's like kind of the goal for today. But yeah, we're going to need quite a bit of stone. I think the complete build is about 50k, which isn't insane. But for a solo, like that's that's quite a bit. Like, metal's going to be a little bit of a problem. I might need to use the boat to go around to harbour or mining outpost or lighthouse to recycle. Oh, shit. I hit it. How are you still alive, dude? You jeez. GG, dude. Like, you know, I missed him so bad. I wonder where he's from. Might be that ice lake base across the water. Get it, dude. Oh. Yep. Get 
Got him. Hell yeah. Oh, what? No, what? What do you mean? I swear I got that bandage off. Did I not bandage? Ah, uh, that's gonna be devastating if uh, if I lose this because of that. I wonder if that's the same guy. I think it might be. And I think it might be the dude that lives like down here, the little stone base in the trees. I don't think he knows that I bled out, so maybe he won't come back. Yep, same dude. Wait, where's my body? No, it fell, it glitched into the rock. Fuck. I had more in my body than this guy had. <laughs> That's actually so frustrating. I think I had my salvage pick on me too. I'll come back in a little bit. Maybe when it turns into a bag, it will like pop up. Hey, we got an M9. We've actually progressed like pretty quick today. It's only been, it's been about two and a half hours. Look at this dude. Oh man, this guy gonna be a pain in the ass. Am I far from tier two? 350 scrap. It's actually not too bad. Okay, let's try and hit some barrels and try and get this tier two down. And then I probably need to go do some recycling to be honest. Oh mate, it's not door camping? Interesting. So the road's pretty good though for scrap, that's for sure. Oh man, there's so much loot here. It's kind of good that launches in the snow too. It means that there won't be as many people coming to it. And if they are, they probably won't be like full metal kit. I really hope this guy's not camping my door again. God, the torch is useless. Okay, I think it's about time we get a sleeping bag down inside here. And tier two. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, garage door time. Okay, I have. Man, it's so annoying that I lost that, all that kit in the rock. We should go check that out to see if it's popped back up by any chance. Oh, killing a bear maybe? Make sure I don't get too close here with that DB.
What did I just say, dude? Ooh, DB. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna be them across across there, I reckon, over near sewer. Oh, what up? Oh Lee, MP5, are you kidding me? No, I missed! No! It's such a bad miss, dude. some progress. If I can just sneak around and use this uh, refinery, that's gonna actually go a long way to helping us progress because there's a like sneaky little refinery slot in this base. I think that's enough. Let's go, let's get out of here. Oh, it's so dark. Please just let me get home. <laughs> ah, feels good. That feels so good. Why would you not let me place that? What do you mean? That is so AIDS, man. Why? Well, it doesn't really matter because, like, I gotta, I'll have a compound eventually anyway. Damn, that sucks. Okay, uh, what do I need to do? I need to get some wood, and then we gotta go recycle, and I need a boat. I was thinking, like, do I just go all the way to outpost? I mean, this lighthouse should be kind of safe. All right, so we'll load up the furnaces and then I'm going to try and find a boat. Here's the next the next play. And if we can find a boat, bring it back home, then I think we'll take some comps over to the lighthouse and try and recycle them.
shit. Oof. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, well, got the Revy. Got away with the satchel. Do I have Revy in Blueprint? I do. Why have I not been running Revy? <sighs> Making it hard for myself. Okay. Window. Oh. Goes there. Sweet. And then, and this becomes our little like furnace den. So cool. And then we can whack a garage door down there. Yeah, I'm almost at the point of needing to honeycomb. I don't want to get raided today. Ooh, the base is coming along. What you guys will find is that a common theme in my videos and playstyle is how easily I get distracted. For better or worse, I tend to just go with the flow, play how I want to, and follow my instincts. And this next passage of play would prove to be no exception. Nice, okay. I'm feeling pretty secure here. So what I'm gonna do is I really wanna jackhammer. So what I'm thinking is if I spawn down here and, you know, collect enough scrap to buy a Jackie, hook up some low grade outposts and then get a boat and bring it all the way back up, I think that's probably not a bad idea. So we're going to do that real quick. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Interesting. Okay, change of plans. Oh, I get distracted so easy. It's like, it's outrageous how easily I get distracted. But how can you not get distracted by that? Could be a way in here. Is that turret? Right there. Okay. I think we can do this. We just gotta send it. Okay. We 
just do the same thing here. Voila. Gonna get out. Oh, yes, there's a half wall. Come on, clean. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> That's a lot of metal. Actually unreal. Uh, it's actually unreal. It's like 11, almost 12k metal. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Low grade. Okay. Oh, I just want a boat. Did I just see a boat? Yes. Oh no, there's two pigs protecting it. Oh my god. The fuck? Something just broke. That was my, uh, my lantern. Oh, that's so much metal. <laughs> so much metal. Ah, uh, well, that, uh, solves our problem of needing stone for upkeep, because, uh, we're just gonna upgrade the base to metal now. like way I'm trying to encourage people to go <laughs> it's kind of confusing well while it's night time I'm gonna craft up a bunch of walls and then yeah we'll put down the, the compound when it comes day we have the walls we have the walls okay I really hope I don't fuck this up <laughs> because it's kind of easy to do okay so far so good so clean. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. All 
right, we are making some progress now. Excellent. Ah, oh, it's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. So, uh, we're gonna whack down oil refinery. You tell me I can't actually put it on the ice. Fuck me, dude. I did not know that. I actually didn't know that. I guess we just cook a little bit at a time and do it elsewhere. satchels on that i mean there is a very small possibility that that one by one is loaded i think i think we just give it a crack why not <laughs> of course so we're gonna dump When did a sheet metal door cost more than four satchels? I guess we're gonna make some grenades or something. <laughs> God, this is a fucking disaster. This is a disaster. Hey. <laughs> it's about what I expected. Oh, 360 scrap. That's not bad. All right, let's get rid of this TC and then I'm going to have a break. Take the uh, doggo for a walk. And we might just try and finish the, like, do the honeycomb tonight and then we'll call it, call it a day. Yeah, that feels good. I'm still a bit confused about the satchels on the sheet metal door. Can someone in the comments like tell me? Has it been changed? Because as long as I've known this game, it's been four satchels for a sheet metal door. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. kind of loaded i would have scared the shit out of him too we're in desperate need of a recycle run I have so many comps and i think we have enough now to build part of the proper entrance to the base <laughs>
Mm, yep, it's coming along. We'll change into our nighttime outfit. Our pajamas. <laughs> the beanie on so this is a stability bunker here has a little entrance and then you pop the ladder Ladder here. And this will be like sealed off as well. Hell yeah, dude. Base is finally coming together. We gotta to honeycomb the TC though. Let's do that now. Chunky. Looking chunky. Well, look, I, I think that's probably gonna do us for day one of this weekly solo wipe. We've made some pretty good progress. The goal for today was to get the compound down, get the, uh, the core parts of the base down, and we've achieved that. We've even, you know, our bottom layer of honeycomb is completely sheet metal, almost. So I'm pretty happy with that. What this will turn into is this whole floor up here is going to be um, enclosed and then there'll be like shooting, shooting floors on either side. And yeah, if, uh, you know, provided that we don't get raided overnight. So tomorrow's going to be a good day if we don't get raided overnight. So yeah, fingers, fingers crossed for that. So I think what we'll do is unload the furnace and, uh, you know, seal up the bunkers and then we'll log off for the evening. After a successful start to this solo adventure, it was time to call it a day. And I'm looking forward to sharing my progress on this server with you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you really enjoyed the video and I'll see you real soon.